Hello everybody, welcome to the Santa Stream. Today we are looking at Pure Acid, Pure Acid by Jim Audio. And in particular, this is a song mode tutorial. So you will see we have our sequencer here, it says sequencer though, and we have our drums here, and you'll see that they both say P1, P1, which refers to pattern one, which is here, and pattern one, which is here. Okay, so if we go to pattern mode, so you've got trigger, step edit, mute, total, total accent, tap record, erase, and pattern mode here. This is where you can see your patterns. And it's the same for this. We have edits, length, gate, swing, tempo. The bottom three, gate, these are adjusted by the data dial, gate, swing, and tempo. And pattern mode, we can control via these here and also the actual sequencer. So we want to be able to make songs in a way, um, <clears throat> in a way, Pure Acid is always in song mode and it's very intuitive and very clever how it works, how Jim has put this together. So this is, a, like I said, it's a tutorial purely for song mode. But first of all, we need to assemble some patterns. So that's what we'll do first. We'll assemble four patterns here. Now, the rest of these patterns are completely blank. If I play this now and go to drums pattern two, Obviously the drums will disappear, the drums will disappear. But if I go back to my drums and then select pattern two in the bass, so we have only one pattern and we want to make for you. We can make up to 12. Now, easiest thing to do here is to copy and paste and then make further adjustments. So that's what we shall do. So we'll start with our sequencer here. So the pat there's only one pattern, so we press copy, and then we select the pattern where we want to paste it to, and we hit paste, boink, like that. And it's there, like this, so we play. And if we want to initialize number two back to its state, we just hit initialize, and we go, yes, clear number two, and it's gone again, so there's no, no pattern. No bass in there at all. So we go back there, copy and paste. And then number two is our bass line again. And then we do the same again. We'll go copy and then we'll paste this to number three, paste. And then we shall go cop copy again and paste. So now we've got four patterns exactly the same. We're gonna do something slightly different with the drums because I wanna show you how you can vary up the song mode. Okay, so say it, theoretically, you could just re, you, you could just copy these four drum patterns over to the four patterns. The difference between pattern sequencer and drum and drums is a they can operate independently as pattern the way they work. But with the the sequencer, whereas your drums are set to one bar, you can extend the length to thirty two steps with the bass line here which effectively gives you two bars. Okay, but we'll leave it on one bar for now. So what we need really to do is make some variations to these patterns so our song progresses. So when we've selected the pattern we want to work on, we hit edit, and you'll see they will be actually identical to each other at the moment. But first of all, what we will do is with this one, we'll do some step edits. We'll say, this <laughs> Watson's going mad down there. We shall select this one here, and go to our step edit section, which is here, and we shall insert a note rest, which basically takes that note out, like that. And we'll do the same for that one. We'll take it out. And we'll do the same for this one. We'll take it out. Okay, and this one. We'll take it out. And probably that one is what we'll take out. So now we've got a much simplified pattern here, which sounds like this. Okay. <clears throat> And then we shall go back to our pattern here. Now we shall go to three, which is the same, obviously, as one and three and four now are the same. Let's go to a silent drum pattern. And let's go to edit. And let's make this a more noticeable, noticeable variation, but keeping the same key. If you want to make sort of composer changes here, you can do various things like you can just generate a new baseline in C or you could go to vary. So we'll let's just put vary and it'll vary it there like that. And 
and then let's go back to pattern again and let's select pattern four which again now will be the same as one and four let's go to edit and this let's, let's go to the baseline composer this time and let's go let's generate it that way but let's leave it in the key of C and the, its relevant scale okay so you can also right you can also select notes to edit via the step edit here or with the data wheel okay so and then you have octaves notes on but again this is probably for a different tutorial because you can get quite involved as well so now going back to pattern here we have four different patterns we well hopefully we have we'll select them manually So cool, we've got four four different patterns. So what we can do is when we're in pattern mode here, like pattern mode and our selected pattern, we can choose at this point now how long each of these patterns repeats for. So when we're in song mode, how long these patterns are gonna repeat for when they're playing in song mode. So for instance, number one, we'll use our data wheel, right? And you'll notice in this corner here, this top right corner, uh, little times two will appear, then times three times, so times two, so that's gonna play twice, times three, times four. So we'll have that play times four. We'll go to this one, and we'll also have that times play times four. Then we'll go to this one, have it play times four. You can vary this as you like, but for simplicity's sake, we'll have each one repeat four times. Now, when I'm going to be in song mode, each pattern will change to its next pattern. Now, let's just quickly move on to the drums for a moment now. So, so far, we've built our four patterns, and now we want to build some drum patterns. Well, I quite like the fact that number two is blank, because if I select pattern one and pattern two now, I quite like that feel for those four bars. So, what I shall do is... Select pattern one, which we know is thick. Let me just switch the baseline sequence off for now. Pattern one, which is this one, and we should just play. So I'm going to make sure what the pattern I want to copy is highlighted. Go to copy, dink, press copy on the drums, go to three, and then just go press copy again, which will just paste it into three. So now we have. So we, we really want to do that again, I guess. Um, let's, we, well, you can just copy three now and we can just go to four and we can paste. Now we can do up to 12 of these and then we can have some fills programmed as well. Something you might want to dig into when you're playing around with the app, you know. And then, but we, you know, I need to do drum, drum programming tutorial, get all this covered, all of this. This is just basic song mode, which you can set up super quick because the, it comes with tons and tons of, uh, sequences to start you off and things like that today there you go okay so now in theory when I change these this will be blank completely blank so and three and four will be the same as one right okay so I'm gonna make some changes to one because it's too busy okay so we can either we can do it with tap record, we can erase notes, or we can just look at step edit. Okay, these are our drum. So if we go to trigger, you'll see the names of the instruments that are down there, and we can step through them like that, and you'll see the names of the drums will change there, or we can we can highlight them by pressing them. But if we go to step edit, let's go all the way back to our bass drum. Well, that's fine. Bass drum's nice. Uh, let's see. Bass drum two, we can leave the steps highlighted as they are. If it's if it's a darker orange, it means it's a, at a lower velocity. Hit it again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, wrong way around. Um, I'm not sure I can do that with this one. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Accents. <clears throat> if I want to accent this first kick here, 
uh, I'll hit accent and then I can put accents in like this or take them out other ways, you know, so we can take accents off for now. But that's a, again, we're getting into the, that's the program and this is song, we just want song mode, right? So snare, I shall take out like this. So if it's got an accent, you'll have to hit it twice. Snare two, I'll take out. And I'll play it as I'm doing it and I'll hear the differences. Sounding a lot less busy now than say if we go to pattern mode and go to happy with that as a start off. Now two. Now two is playing, but we know two has nothing in it. So maybe we need something in it, you know what I mean? So if we go to trigger mode here and let's select uh, maybe this uh, a hi-hat like this. And then we go to step edit. Let's put some hi-hats in. And let's put a little bit of this effect say, which I know happens to be a, a an effect, a, a delay. Actually, it may not be a delay, actually. Let's have a look. Again, I'll I'll go through all this in another video because otherwise it's going to get too too confusing. Now, so we have a little tiny pattern there, so that's fine. Let's go back to our pattern mode. So now that's busy, and then I'm going to make some more adjustments to that. So I'll go to trigger. Let's see what the steps are for triggering the clap. All right, hang on. And maybe go to So now we have, if we go to our pattern mode now, now we have um, four patterns and we also have four draw, uh, four baseline patterns. So these patterns are all very slightly different now. Right, and the same with these now, right? So I want these to kind of correspond with those, but we don't, we can set them up any way you like. We could have this play for four, but I'm in pattern mode. I'm gonna have this repeat for four, and I'm gonna have this one repeat for four, but you can vary these numbers independently of the baseline. I'll show you something else you can do. Lizzie. We're nearly there, guys. We're, we're nearly, we're nearly there. But you see, this is four again for this one, and now four again for this one. And then if you wanted to insert a blank at the end of your song, you just create a new pattern and put nothing in it. But you, you'll get, you obviously can see that. Now, to create song mode, there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can, like I said, trigger everything by hand, like this. Turn your right. Make sure you turn your sequencer back on from previous tutorial. So here would be pattern one on both, and then you could now 
now. Let's go back like this. All we need to do to engage to like sort of start song mode on is long hold from any pattern you want to start on and you will see this will change and you'll also, also see up here where it says test for echo which is the name of your project long hold and that will set chain and all you do is hold and drag and do the same for this hold and drag and it's now in song mode so as soon as you start playing it will start playing from pattern one pattern one on both and each pattern will repeat four times it's dependent on its length Now, for instance, you might want this to go on for, let's see, um, eight bars. You can go all the way up to 32. So you could have a really long track, but you might want that to go on to eight bars. And then halfway through this, this will carry on and then it will skip back to pattern one sort of thing. So there you go, guys. There it is. There is pattern mode. Good tip here as well is when you've finished messing around, hit save so that you don't lose any of your work because it's not auto saved. Okay, so that's an important thing to remember. In, in other tutorials, we'll cover the, I mean, that you can mess around with the, what's it now? If we go back to the, that was what I wanted to say, sorry. When you're in pattern mode like this, let's hold like that. Let's just wait for it to swing over. When you're in pattern mode, when it long hold and then it, it all sort of turns gray, right? You can make adjustments on the, you can you can skip out of pattern mode on either the, and this is what's so cool, either the drums or the sequencer like this. So say for instance, I wanted to stop pattern mode, uh, song mode on the drums, just hit a, just hit another pattern and all this will carry on playing in pattern mode but then you can make further adjustments to say this drum pattern and then you can start it off from anywhere you like, right? So you can start it off from three or two. go blank for one bar because you would need to set the amounts and that's about it okay guys thank you very much for watching this was a tutorial on song mode in a little bit more detail than i did on a live stream just so you kind of get how it works and then you can uh, kind of just go and do your own thing with pure acid yeah, but we will do. I will do further tutorials on on how to program different drum sounds and stuff because you can get some really great stuff out of this and the synth and things. Instant epic, guys! Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you later. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron from as little as a dollar a month. And uh, yeah, blessings. I'll see you guys later. Ta-da!